Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Stefan Vruck for GetWeb.org and this is my second tutorial on 3ds Max. This one is about using the composite map and the arc and design material together in order to reduce the number of used vertices dramatically. I'm working with 3ds Max 2012 and in this case I'm gonna use the slate editor. I also gonna show you something about cutout mapping. So let's have a look at what we have here. This is my kitchen. And uh, in this kitchen I have this cupboard. And this cupboard has keys to lock it. And I'm going to show you how they look. This is how they are supposed to look. But in the beginning they look different. Now I'm going to switch to the material to the normal editor just for a second to change the material. This was the last time you saw the normal material editor in this tutorial. Okay. So this keyhole, as you already saw, should look like this because this is the original keyhole. It's got the hole itself, then it's got a little metal thing, black metal, little scratched, and it's attached with two little nails. So the pictures I already um, prepared are the ones right next to the original picture. This picture just contains the nails and is done in uh, Photoshop. This is going to serve as an opacity map for these nails. That means everything that is blackened out in this picture will not be seen in this later on. It's a little like um, the um, alpha channel in Photoshop. And this one is another of these maps which later on will put a hole in the form of the keyhole into my element. Okay, I'm gonna open up the slate editor now. And... takes a while, there it is. The good thing about the slate editor is that I can drag pictures directly onto the viewport of it and then further work with them. That is exactly what I'm going to do. So these are my nails, or the picture of the nails. This is the mask for this picture. And then I have another mask which will create a keyhole. So here they are. The next thing I'm going to do, working in the slate editor, is create a new map. And this will be a composite map. This composite map will contain the bitmap of the nails and the mask of the nails. You can see layer 1, layer 1 mask. So I'm gonna connect the nodes. The output node of my bitmap of the nails will be connected to the input node uh, of layer 1. And the same I'm gonna do with the mask layer. So, this is the material I created so far. I can have a preview of it and I see it. Next thing I'll do is create another material. In this case, it's going to be a mental ray arc and design material. Normally, when I open this, I have a gray, shiny sphere. The gray of this element oops, is uh, in the diffuse channel, diffuse color map channel. What I can do now is uh, take the output node of my composite map and drag it onto the diffuse color map channel. And now you can see that I have um, the map I created kind of put onto a shiny 
element or vice versa put the shine on my element so I think now it's time to apply this material to the object so I'm gonna choose this material and say and uh, mark my object Oh, I think something is grouped here. No, it's not. And that is. Okay. So I'm going to say material, assign material to selection. Something changed, but I can't see anything yet. So what I do next is go to views, show materials in viewport as shaded material with maps. And voila. I can see a little something. It doesn't look that fancy right now, but something has happened. To prove this, I can do my first render. But before I'll do that render, I'm gonna do the render setup. Because I don't want to render the whole um, uh, picture, but just a region. Not view, but region. And then a little um, how do you say that frame appears that shows me what will be in the region I chose okay so let's see what this looks like so what I see here is two nails on a shiny element there's a few things that are missing or that I don't like about this. A keyhole is missing and this is much too shiny for my taste. So I'm gonna alter some of the settings. Gonna go into my slate editor again. Zooming here works just as in a normal viewport. You just drag your mouse wheel or turn your mouse wheel. So we already talked about the shininess of the standard arc and design material. I want to change this now by just selecting a template. I'm going to select a template that will alter the reflectivity and the glossiness settings. I'm going to use matte finish. Another thing ha that has changed now, I hope you can see that. Oh, excuse me. Is uh, the look of this. Because we had a little mountain there before. Okay. So let's have a look at what this did to our picture. I think this looks a lot better. A lot more than the original picture, which looked like this. Okay, last thing we need now is the hole there. So, this is another thing I was talking about. The other thing, excuse me. The cutout map. In the arc and design material, it's just like an opacity map in other materials. You see... Uh, this black thing uh, is supposed to be cut out so the only thing I have to do and I do it like this so you can see the magic is take this node and connect it to the cutout map and look at this I have a hole in my uh, keyhole now without any more vertices just like magic so I'm going to do a last render of this. And I think this looks just perfect. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope I see you again soon. This was Stefan Vogt for GetWebDog. Have a nice day.